Is this even on? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Luis or also known as Mr. Vulture. I hope you guys liked the first video that we made, which was part one on how to start your streaming journey. If you haven't seen it yet, go ahead and click this link right here. That's going to show up up on the video and check it out. We spoke about how to work on the basics of OBS, which is the software for streaming and recording video. Also in this video, we are going to focus on bitrate, resolution, and all those settings that you need to get started on actual streaming. All right, so let's get to that. All right, so we are back in OBS, exactly how we left it off. Now we're gonna start working on the settings for streaming. As you guys remember, there are two ways to get into the settings. You could go bottom right, hit the settings right there, or you could go top left and hit settings under file. All right, we're gonna go there to the settings. This will open up and we're gonna go to video first. All right, we're going to video first and you're going to see two types of resolution. You're going to see the base and the output. OK, so the base canvas resolution, it's the native resolution of your monitor. OK, of the physical, the monitor itself. My monitor is a 1080p resolution monitor. OK, so in my case, I would use 1920 by 1080. Now, this will differ for a lot of you. Reason being, a lot of you have different monitors. As I said, mine is 1080p, yours might be 4K. It'll differ. But if you do not know what your monitor resolution is, I will show you right now. We're going to go to the desktop. We're gonna right click on the desktop, okay? And then we're going to go to display settings. All right. Now, this monitor, which is the one I'm gaming on, is this one right here. For me, it's number two. If you don't know which one it is, just hit identify and it'll give you a number in the bottom left corner. It should show up. Now you're going to go right back down and then under display resolution, you're going to realize that, that I, my highest resolution that I can use in this monitor is 1920 by 1080. That's how you know. Okay. It'll say recommended because that is the highest, that, that, that is the native resolution for my monitor. Okay. So that is how you do that. So we're going to go back to OBS. And um, we are going to pick 1920 by 1080. You will pick whatever you saw there. Okay. Output resolution, the output scaled resolution. Okay. So this is important. This is the resolution that you were going to be streaming at. Keep in mind that what I'm going to say here, it's my preference, my opinion on what you should honestly do being a complete beginner as well. I would recommend you to start at 1280 by 720, which is 720p. You can still get a great quality image if you get the right settings for this specific resolution. Okay, so we're gonna stick to that for now. Later on in the video, I'm gonna explain the differences, but for now, just follow along and that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so now we're gonna go to downscale filter. This will determine how you choose to downscale your resolution. Downscaling mean going from one resolution to a lower one, below the one you currently have. So for example, my base resolution is 1920, but I do want to stream at 1280 by 720. So right there and then, you will see that there is a downscale going on, right? So if you have a really, really really slow computer i would definitely recommend you to do by cubic or if it's really that bad you could just go by linear a lot of people say they don't really notice a huge difference in performance but keep in mind the higher that you have this it will affect your cpu okay personally i go with 36 streaming at 720 i think you should be able to do it if not you can go down to 16 but I would personally recommend to do 36 stream. If it doesn't go well, go back down to 16. Uh, common FPS values, we're gonna leave that at common FPS values. And um, since we're doing 720, we could do 60, especially for high movement games like Call of Duty, games like that, you wanna make sure you do it at 60. If you just have a less powerful computer, you can always go with 30. Um, I've heard some people do 48 and it works well for them. But in this case, I would just go ahead and try 60 and see how that works out for you. So once you pick this, you're gonna go ahead down here, hit apply. And then we're going to go to the output. This is where it gets fun. Okay. This is where it's going to get a little bit confusing if you're not confused already. So you see here where it says output mode, we're going to go ahead and change that from simple to advanced like so. And this is when it's going to get interesting. Okay. So now that we're in the streaming tab, we're going to start with the encoder. Now, if you don't know what an encoder is, so in the most basic terms, an encoder just takes the audio, the video and any graphics that you wish to stream and it turns them into data that can be sent across the internet. That's literally all it is. Okay. And there are different ways of doing that. So this is why you have these options. So you X.264 will be using your CPU to do the encoding. Okay. Or you could use NVENC, which is only for NVIDIA graphics card users. Listen to this again. If you have an NVIDIA graphics card, you will see this option. Now, if you have an AMD graphics card, you will see something else. You won't see the NVIDIA NVENC 
encoder. Um, I don't know what that looks like because I don't have an AMD, so I will be focused on NVIDIA users right now. Hopefully in the future, I'll be able to have enough money to buy an AMD graphics card and I will be able to do my own testing with AMD and give you guys the best tutorial that I could give you in regards to that specific graphics card. So let's go ahead and move on. And um, under the encoder, we're going to go ahead and uncheck and force streaming service encoder settings. Rescale output, we are going to leave this unchecked. Now for the rate control, we want it at a constant bit rate. All right, so before we start, I really want to make clear that the information that I'm giving you, it is legit, okay? This is all coming from Twitch's website. It's called stream.twitch.tv. It has a ton of information of the bit rate that you need to use, the rate control, the frame rate, the key intervals, the presets, based on the resolution that you want to stream at. In this specific video, I am gonna focus on 72060 because I believe that this is a great, great starting resolution, especially since they're like, especially since your audience may not have the greatest internet. So let's say, so me the viewer, I have really bad internet and you're streaming at 1080, it's gonna be really hard for me to watch this stream without my stream having to buffer every minute, every 30 seconds, okay? Having 720 and 60 will be way better. I will have a better experience as a viewer. The buffering will be minimal, if any at all, okay? So it's way better for the viewers. There has been times where when I first tried out 1080, 60, my computer was able to run it, but my viewers were suffering because my bitrate was really high. Their internet was really slow, so they, their internet couldn't keep up with this specific bitrate. So this is why I'm focusing on 720p and 60 frames per second. Keep in mind, okay? I really want you guys to know when it comes to streaming, quality is good, yes, but this is not just like a YouTube video that you can put it in 4K, you can put it in 1080, and it's gonna run perfectly, all right? So yes, it, it is good to have good quality, but at the same time, you don't want to have your viewers suffer because you decide to have a really high bit rate when you don't need to, or because you want it to stream at 1080. And honestly, look, if you're a beginner, there's no reason for you to be streaming at 1080, all right? I'm just gonna say that. Unless you do have the resources to do so, be my guest and go ahead and stream at 1080. But personally, I would recommend you to stream at 720. If you don't know what bitrate means, here's a good definition. Again, this is from Twitch's website. So the bitrate is the amount of data you send to Twitch when you stream. Okay, so the bitrate is just the amount of data you're sending over the internet to the streaming platform, Twitch, or any platform for that matter. So the higher the bitrate, um, the better the quality, but keep in mind that the higher the bitrate, it takes up more of your available internet bandwidth, okay? So increasing the bitrate can improve your video quality, but only up to a certain point. Our recommended bitrate settings have been tested to optimize video quality without wasting bandwidth. All right, so now we are ready to put in our bitrate, okay? So the bitrate is the amount of data that you would be sending to your streaming platform. In my case, I use Twitch. So based on Twitch's recommendation, okay, um, for, uh, for 72060, they recommend 4500, all right? So that's exactly what we're gonna do, but make sure that you know your upload speed. I did a run, I did a test on mine, and my upload speed is 18. Now, that is on really good upload speed, so I should be fine with 4500. Make sure that you don't use more than 50% of your upload speed. Now that we got that out of the way at 4500, keyframe interval, leave it at two. All right, put it, and if it's not a two, input the number two. <laughs> Preset, leave it in quality, or if you think you could do max quality based on your computer, then go ahead and do so. But for now, let's leave it at quality. If you think you're still having issues with quality, bring it down to performance, all right? But for now, leave it at quality and see how it goes. Profile, have it at high, look ahead, uncheck that, and then psycho visual tuning, leave it on, okay? GPU, leave it at zero, and max B frames, leave it at two. We're gonna go ahead and click apply, and now we are going to move to, do, 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 advance really quick. Uh, in general, make sure you have it above normal. It'll make OBS run better. Um, a lot of people do that. I do it, okay? It, it, it helps a lot. <laughs> Alrighty, so these settings are really good to go. All we need to do now is get the stream key. The stream key is what's going to allow you to stream at the specific platform that you are going to use to stream on, all right? So we're going to go right here to the stream tab, all right? And here is where we need to put our stream key. As you see, there's no stream key, but thankfully now in OBS, you could just click this button, connect to an account, and it'll automatically get the stream key from that account that you logged into. In my case, I'm going to stream on Twitch, so I chose Twitch. Server, I set to auto and I'm going to connect. And there you go. Our stream key has now been inputted. Technically speaking, all we have to do now is hit stream and we are really good to go. All right. 
I am excited. We are completely ready and we are now going to start streaming so you guys can see how it looks like. So let's check that out. All right. All right. So, all right. So here we go. Uh, so this is pretty much how it looks. All right. So this is 20 P 60. I really want to show you guys that this is actually some really good quality. A lot of people always want to stream at 1080 and then they overlook that for less processing power, they can still get a good image. I have proved myself. All right. Real quick, you guys, if you guys want to save yourself some money on some G Fuel products, by the way, today was the first time I tried to dub Mellow Mint. This became, this became, it is king. This literally became number one on my favorite list. This thing is amazing. Try it out. Even my wife loved it. So that being said, use code Vulture, which will give you 30% off. And keep in mind that 30% off will end after today. Okay, so today is literally the last day, the 31st. Go ahead and save yourself 30% off on your next G Fuel product. Now, tomorrow, you will still have 10% off, but come on, don't let that 30% go to waste. Okay, get some G Fuel, get like me, get that endurance ugh, and stamina and that focus. You know what I'm saying? No, but in all seriousness, it also supports my channel and I'm trying to reinvest everything that I get into the channel so I can make better videos for you guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know it was really lengthy, but then again, there were a lot of ter technical terms, a lot of things that I had to explain, and I wanted to make sure that I was able to explain it in a clear manner because I know that a lot of you guys are really new to this, completely, completely new. So I'm here to help. If you have any questions, go ahead down in the comment section down below. Leave a question. I will answer it if you need help. And I'll see you guys next time on the next video. We will be going over overlays, alerts, and all that fun stuff. So don't miss it. <laughs> I could feel my sweat down through my booty cheeks, booty cheeks. Uh, you can hide under beds. Okay. This way. Oh my God, bro.